When we think of the most harmful drugs, we usually think of hard drugs like heroin or crack. And while these substances are without a question dangerous and deadly, there is a much more harmful drug that you can buy at the grocery store. That one is alcohol. But why does this legal substance have the potential to be the deadliest drug? You see, alcohol is seen differently by people than most other dangerous drugs. And due to its legality, alcohol doesn't even register as a drug on most people's radar. And drinking is socially acceptable and often glamorized. With an accepting social status and perfect legality in most countries, alcohol is easy to incorrectly regard as harmless. And due to this, it's even easier to fall into the vicious trap of alcoholism and breaking free from it once you are addicted can be nearly impossible. Alcohol also belongs to a handful of drugs where the withdrawal can actually lead to death. Heroin is one of many drugs known for its brutal withdrawal symptoms, but it doesn't have the consequence of losing your life. More people enter treatment facilities for alcohol abuse than any other drug and only about 18% of recovering alcoholics can abstain from drinking a year later. I'm on the verge of dying because I'm a vicious alcoholic. I haven't drank or uh, took drugs in six days. And for me, that's a miracle. I've been lying to everybody else to think I was sober, but I'm not. Just think about it. Alcohol is everywhere. And alcoholics can't just move to a different environment where they don't have access to their drug because the dealer is the nearest gas station. That makes it particularly hard for an alcoholic to hold himself back. It is simply everywhere and super easy to access and often advertised in many places. That's a big reason why alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of death in the US and is reported to cause around 88,000 deaths a year in the US alone. That's more than all other drugs combined which cause around 30,000 deaths. But the social and legal status are by far not the worst part about alcohol. It's the effect it has on your body and how even a small amount of it will cause permanent, irreversible damage to your brain and body. If we had to make a bad drug legal, the worst choice was alcohol. It's yeah. definitely the case. Alcohol is around three times as harmful as cocaine or tobacco. And according to a study released in 2010 by a group of British scientists, alcohol was rated the most harmful drug overall. Alcohol directly causes a variety of diseases and is a direct cause of seven forms of cancer. A study published in the journal Addiction provided evidence that alcohol is a direct cause of breast, liver, colon and other types of cancer. Alcohol also causes fatty liver disease, curiosis of the liver, and alcohol hepatitis. These conditions can kill drinkers slowly and over many years. But why does alcohol feel good when we have a drink? And what causes people to want to have more and more, sometimes even ending in the person blacking out? I used to go down there and study the effects of alcohol on green monkeys, which 5% of whom would drink to coma on first exposure. You see, after your first drink, alcohol will make you feel good. It will activate your mood circuitries, making them hyperactive, causing an increase in mood and energy. But that's only for a short amount of time before you begin to fall into a depressive state, causing you to keep drinking to chase that initial feeling. But as you keep drinking, serotonin levels and the activities of your mood circuits really start to drop. And as you drink more and more, you'll start to feel suppressed. Your forebrain will start shutting down a lot. Your motor function will begin to impair or shut down. So people will start to slur their speech, forget their posture, start leaning on things or even passing out. There's a great depression following after that initial height of those first few drinks. And it just went from bad to worse. Um, I hit the drink heavily on a daily basis. But what exactly makes alcohol so dangerous even in small amounts. Because even if you only drink every now and then, alcohol still has devastating effects on your brain and body and causes irreversible damage and neurodegeneration. 
A recent study showed that people drinking one to two drinks a day on average causes thinning of the neocortex and other regions in the brain. There is no safe dose of alcohol because alcohol affects the development of synapses in the brain and people who drink heavily at an early age have been shown to have significantly smaller brains and reduced cognitive ability. It is even considered a class 1 carcinogen by the World Health Organization. You see what makes alcohol so damaging to your body is the fact that it's water and fat soluble due to its structure. Meaning that when you drink alcohol, it has the ability to pass into all cells and tissues throughout your body. Unlike a lot of other drugs which attach to the surface of your receptors or cells, alcohol goes into your cells and affects them directly. And because of the fact that alcohol can pass right into your organs and cells effortlessly is what explains its devastating effects. As known to many, alcohol causes liver damage and because alcohol is poison to your body, it has to pass through your liver and get converted into something different. And because of alcohol's water and fat soluble nature, it will also cause damage to the cells in your liver. But why exactly is alcohol so damaging to all the cells and organs in your body? What's really going on here? It's because when alcohol is ingested, it gets broken down into an even worse poison named acetaldehyde. This poison gets created during your body's conversion process of alcohol and acetaldehyde is particularly bad. It will kill your cells and it is actually this poison itself that leads to the effect of feeling drunk. So being drunk is the result of being sick from a poison. So why does alcohol damage cells in other parts of your body and not just the liver? That's because of its water and fat soluble nature I mentioned earlier. And due to that fact, alcohol has no issue entering into all cells in your body, even passing the blood brain barrier and entering directly into your brain. And because alcohol doesn't bind to particular receptors, it will cause damage to your entire brain, causing devastating neurodegeneration in many brain areas, but particularly in the neocortex, which is responsible for housing associated memories and is responsible for your ability to think and plan and plays a main role in the suppression of impulsive behavior. Yeah, alcohol's bad news and it can turn perfectly good people into, into quite, the, quite the impulsive and dim-witted monsters. That's why you often see drunk people acting particularly impulsive or uncontrollable. But it has lots of other influences in the brain, like slowing down excitatory signals, making you feel less motivated, and it acts as an overall depressant of the central nervous system, impairing your judgement, reflexes, and your ability to think through and make decisions. Binge drinking is particularly bad killing brain cells and altering the neural communication in such a way that it will change the structure and function of the brain for the long term. Anytime someone binge drinks, they will alter their brain permanently. There are well recognized changes in neurochemistry, in the brain and also in the brain to body stress system as a result of drinking, causing an increase in stress when people are not drinking, diminished mood and less feelings of well-being and even results in changes of the neural circuits that would cause people to want to drink more and more in order to get back to their baseline sense of happiness. That's why many people struggling with alcoholism will suddenly find themselves drinking without even consciously making a decision, without really knowing how they got there and without really wanting to drink in the first place. They just can't stop it, it becomes a compulsion and in worst case scenarios alcohol induced dementia or delirium are a very real thing and are serious diseases where people have to go to nursing homes as a result of it. Alcohol will also have devastating effects on the part of your brain responsible for memory formation and storage. That's why people who drink will quite often forget the events of a night out. But these effects are not only true in the short term. In people that drink regularly, there are changes in specific circuits responsible for habitual and impulsive behaviour. So even if you drink once a week consistently, like on weekends for instance, you will still experience changes in the brain that will result in more habitual and impulsive behaviour. Even outside the times when you are drinking. But not just your brain is in danger from alcohol. Because of its water and fat soluble nature, alcohol is the most widely active substance across your body. It will act on proteins in every active system of your body, not just the brain, but on your liver, kidneys, heart, 
you name it, it acts there. It's a pharmacological bomb because it indiscriminately alters the function of proteins in cells all around your body and causes mental health issues like depression and anxiety. And those are just the effects alcohol has on your brain and body, but naturally that will lead to negative behaviour in society. Alcohol will exaggerate negative emotions in your life and is known for making people more aggressive, leading to many abusive relationships and broken families. It also causes changes in things like eating habits, sleep and overall behaviour alterations, leading to health problems, social issues and deaths, ranging from things like accidents to things like cancer and also heart and cardiovascular disease. This makes alcohol the most harmful drug in western cultures overall and is the most widely used drug in our western society.